And tonight, an emergency meeting in Nassau to discuss catalytic converter thefts, a problem that's been on the rise this year. We've been telling you about that. News 12's Kevin Vesey live in New Hyde Park where that meeting just wrapped up. And Kevin, a whole lot of concern over this. Oh, absolutely, Doug. You know, tonight we heard from several people who've had their catalytic converters stolen, others who fear they could be next. And this was at a jam-packed meeting right here at this firehouse in New Hyde Park. So Nassau police, they were on hand during this meeting. They were giving people tips on how they can keep their own cars safe. But there were also a lot of requests for more patrols in this area. Standing room only at this emergency meeting tonight at a New Hyde Park firehouse. More than 150 community members speaking with Nassau police about catalytic converter theft. The devices can be cut out of cars in seconds and they're sold for their precious metals. My car was hit. And I'm sure a lot of other vehicles have. Bill Catrone is president of the Lakeville Estate Civic Association and had his catalytic converter stolen in June. He's now asking police for more patrols, especially on side streets during the overnight hours. We don't see the cars on the back streets. We need them. We've been pleading with them. Our guys are out there, I can tell you that. Um, so I can tell you that as a fact, just based on the investigation that wants to do. And there are lots of catalytic thefts to investigate. So far this year, Nassau has seen 1,290 of them. Compare that to the same time span in 2021 when there were 131 catalytic converter thefts. Police say around 10% of the incidents this year have happened in this area. They got me. This man, who only wants to go by Pete, had his catalytic converter stolen in January. Since then, he doesn't feel safe leaving his car in the street. I hope that they can devise some sort of a plan. I don't know how, how it could be done, but perhaps some sort of neighborhood patrols or something. And these guys come in the middle of the night, three, four in the morning. It's kind of tough to, to catch them. And there was talk tonight about bail reform and raise the age being contributing factors to all of this. But others in the room pointed out that this is a nationwide problem. And you have states like Florida and Texas where similar crimes are being convicted committed. So right now, Nassau police say your best bet is to park your car in a garage if you can or in a driveway with a motion light. Doug. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Definitely feel their frustration.